What's up guys, it's Unchained here, and it is August 26th, Tuesday, and the year is 2014, and yet again, another game has arrived in my mail. I order way too much shit, but what can I say, Amazon makes it convenient, so I'm gonna do it. So, uh, if this is right, it should be Metro Redux on the Xbox One. So let's go ahead here, we're gonna do an unboxing for it. And yes, it is. It is Metro Redux on the Xbox One, which is what I asked for. Take a look at the back of the box there. Looks pretty sweet. It's got some nice artwork. I kind of like that format where it has three pictures under uh, one centered picture. It looks nice, and it really is appealing and, you know, makes people want to purchase games when they're looking at the covers. And uh, naturally, when we all go digital, that we won't get to enjoy this, but got to enjoy it while we have it. So, we're going to start off by taking the plastic film off the game, my favorite part of opening any game. So, I played Metro 2033 and Last Light when they, when they first released. I didn't own them, but I rented them. Uh, I finished them both completely, and they were really good. I just wasn't entirely sure as to why it got such a high praise. Because it doesn't have multiplayer, it doesn't have much replay value. There are, I think, like tape recorders or something to collect. So, it's got collectibles, which is nice. So, you know, I guess you can go through the levels again and find everything and unlock achievements and stuff. But uh, other than that, it's really just about an engrossing single-player experience. It's got a pretty good one at that. And uh, it's got a really cool, like, metro, underground, post-apocalyptic environment. And uh, it's, it's a very believable environment. It does a really good job of capturing a really dark, gritty tone. But that's sort of the reason why I didn't think I'd ever go back to it after completing them on the Xbox 360. But here I am again, and I was swayed once again by an HD graphic update. Because, honestly, it just seems like they did such a good job. Like, it's not just simply increasing the texture resolution. It seems as though they actually made the game a little bit brighter, but not so much that they got rid of the, the dark, gritty feel. It's brighter in the sense you can actually see the, uh, the NPCs. Now, there's the inside of the game here. You got your disc and the not manual on the other side. I don't know what that is, actually. Let me take a look at it. Take your friends to the catacombs of Metro with the new board game, Metro 2033. Can't see wanting to play the board game, but in case you're wondering, yeah, they actually include a couple of pages there. You're lucky if you see a couple pages of anything these days with games. So, uh, yeah, I have it on Xbox One, as you can see, and uh, it does run 900p, 60 frames a second. The PS4 is at 1080p, 60 uh, so yeah, if you're looking at what version to get, I guess go with that one. I'm kind of an Xbox slut, so I tend to get my games on the Xbox. Um, I also just like earning achievements, and my friends are on there, so I tend to go, you know, all third parties of my Xbox. I like the controller. It's more habitual than anything, and truthfully, I don't really notice the, the slight difference in resolution, because I'm only running on a 23-inch monitor. So, there you have it, and that's Metro Redux on the Xbox One. If you were thinking of picking it up, Definitely do so. I'm going to be making some gameplay videos, maybe do a little let's play, and do uh, maybe a graphics comparison. We'll see what I'm in the mood for. But I'm definitely going to give this game a shot. I'm going to start with 2033 and then work my way up to Last Light. And uh, I'm going to show off some footage, so stay tuned to my channel. Please feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment, and uh, I'll give you some opinions on what I think of the game. And if you want to know if it's worth a purchase, I'm going to be making a video about that as well. Stay tuned to my channel.